Shocked in Shoreham writes, Miss Lila, will computers ever become smarter than humans? Well, since I'm human, I tend to be biased in this matter, which is why I've brought in the biggest authority on artificial intelligence, Goggle.com. Will computers ever become smarter than humans? Well, to settle this contentious debate, we have brought in a time traveler who can bring evidence from the future. Please welcome. Hello. Hello. Um, I I'm sorry. Uh, which one of you is Amelia? We I am. You both are. She's Amelia from the present, Dry Doppel, and I am Amelia from the future. You don't look anything alike. Yes, we do. We do not. Look. I was building my time machine when this woman knocks on my door, says she is my future self, and then invites herself in to eat all of my scones and jam. Well, we do not have scones in the future. Well, I can see why. Oh, well, how about a simple test to prove if she's from the future? Like, um, who is the King of England in the year 2000? Fine. Amelia, who is King of England in the year 2000? Well, there was Victoria, then Edward, that um, Freddy, go on, and Tom and Hatchet, and um, Sat Speckle, and Bobcat, and then Banger. Uh huh. Shall I call the police? Wait, no. I came from the future to tell you all a very important message. Which is scones. You should buy more scones. Crank dos. Call the police. What? Well, maybe future Amelia is where she says she's from. Maybe she did come from an alternate present where all that she said actually happened. Well, in any case, we cannot risk having a king banger. A wise decision, old me. A wise decision. Thank you, Greg Dose. Okay, please send your questions to askacamharlot at gmail.com. Ask the Cam Harlot? I thought this was called Ask Chastity Hook. Chastity Hook? Hello? Heavens, no. She was an old rival of mine at finishing school. Oh, I see. She must be the one who takes over after what happens to you. What? What's going to happen to me? Well... <sighs> no, 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 no! Let, let her talk! Pay no attention to her, she's making it up. Ancient Egyptology. Carouse like it's 1885. Shut up! I'm so drunk I can't remember. <laughs> Don't you dare! There once was a man from Nantucket. <laughs> Do you know the rest of the poem? Well, now you don't have to, because you can write an even dirtier poem yourself. It's easy with Adam Rhett's Limerick Generator, the application software that gives you the dirtiest words that rhyme with Nantucket. Science words like sprocket, rocket, or electric socket. Patrolling terms like market, socket, or cuckoo clocket. Adam Rhett's Limerick Generator. Hundreds of dirty words for the unimaginative mind. And remember, when talking about men from Nantucket, pull this little app right out of your pocket, and you won't have to sweat like a gladiator if you're using Adam Rett's Limerick Generator. You'll never have to writer's block it. Dazed in Rugby writes, 
Dear Miss Lila, I'm applying to university this year and I have to make a decision about my career. Should I study Latin literature or ancient Egyptology? Well, as a computer science graduate working as a camp pilot, I can tell you nothing is more important than education. But, in order to give you the best possible advice, we have brought in a prime example of a modern higher education. Please welcome. Tally ho, ho, ho. The airmeister is in the manor. Carouse on. Carouse like it's 1885. <laughs> Bring out the winches and the signs of thirst quenches. Grow. You want to know how Lila and I met? Saucy story time, lads. Miss Lila and I attended a little get-together. Let's not digress, Mr. Barrett. Let's focus on the question and answer. Me too. There is no saucy story. We met at university. Um, the one where Mr. Barrett studies, of course. Ah. The uh, fancy one with the clock tower and everything. Ah, uh, no, the other one. Mm, has the uh, stripes in the uniform, yeah? Something like that old trap. I'm so drunk I can't remember. <laughs> oh, how? Hmm. I forgot. <laughs> there is no saucy tale, I tell you. Now let's put the matter to bed. <gasps> bed? Oh yes, now I remember. Shut up. <laughs> Don't you dare. It was last call at O'Shaughnessy's pub, and Miss Lida and I had a bet going that she- Well, I finally found a use for my computer science degree. So, please send your questions to askacamharlot at gmail.com, and this time I will leave you with a What's your pleasure, love? <laughs> You wake up and it's hot full of ice. But there is a price to pay. Yeah, but this seems very dangerous. Of course. Indeed. Indeed.